here you are. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. Have you celebrated uh, Father's Day yet? Yes. Uh, yes. What did you do? Uh, me, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your celebration, doing nothing. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. okay. What about everyone else? Me, um, huh? in my house, only, only a, a, a lunch with family. That's all. You had lunch with family? Yes. All right, great. Um, very good. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being in class. Um, who's the father? Paul, do you have children? You probably do. You're on mute. You're on mute, Paul. Okay, now I don't think. Can you hear me? Do you have children? Yes, I have two. Fernando? No, I am not. You don't? Say, I don't. No, I don't. don't. Okay, well, happy Father's Day, Paul. You're the only one right now. <laughs> I, I guess Thank so. Thank you. I, I figure because you have a teddy bear behind you, so I was thinking maybe he does have children. <laughs> that was the sign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So last night we, I said we were practicing, right? Past, present, and we still have to practice the future, all right? So I'm gonna show you here, let me see. We're gonna discuss some questions in the future, okay? So let's see, I would like you to take a screenshot of this and then share it so we can practice it again. Um, let me see, these are the predictions we will be doing with will, all right, because we're talking about predictions, not plans, but all right, here are some. Let me zoom out, it's kind of big. I will leave it at a hundred. Okay, and that's it. Can you guys take a screenshot of this? We're gonna discuss these questions, okay? Take a screenshot or a, um, print screen something. Let's make predictions using will. Later, we're going to make plans using going to. Let's discuss some questions before you practice in groups. So let me see. Where will we get our energy when we run out of oil? What do you think? What are your predictions? We will get energy using sun power. Uh -huh, we will get it from the sun, sun power, very good. Or from the wind, right? Okay. And water and waves move. Right. Okay, yes. let's discuss these questions, all right? You have them? Yep. Yes. All right, we're going to work in small groups. Here we go.
And the first one. I don't I don't have the questions. Ah, okay. Let me... You can see the questions. Yes, yes. When we have the picture. All right, the first the first question say when will you graduate? It's a lot using in a, a lot of countries in the world. Yeah. In, yeah. Uh -huh. It's very important. <laughs> okay. Next, Carla. Are you new? Uh, will humans ever meet aliens? Yeah. What will the meeting be like? I think <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Already see some videos about aliens. <laughs> but for for my life too. Uh. Yes, like a uh, goal. Yes. Do I? In the next year. Okay. Very well. Okay. Uh, how will you use English in the future? How will you use English in the future? And um, I think and uh, I will use English in the future in a uh, job. Excuse me? In a job. Oh, okay. Will humans ever meet aliens? What will the meeting be like? Do you listen? Yes, yes. Will humans... <laughs> Chinese people, no problem with this. Mm. I don't know, Terminator maybe. <laughs> mm. Will be a robot. <laughs> Do you think houses will be more environmentally friendly in the future? What what is environmentally eh, amigables al ambiente? I think, I think the houses would be environmentally because and the water and the, uh -huh, the, the, the water, um, the, the air, uh, the companies build more houses to friendly, green. I think we live maybe like Jetsons.
All right, did you finish practicing? Just so, some question. Some of them? Okay. Let me see, where's everyone? Uh -huh. I think some of them are still speaking. <laughs> they don't want to come back yet. Okay, here we have Noem. No, he's just joining. Hold on. Roberto and Fernando, okay, everybody's back. Great. So we practice making predictions with will, right? Now, let's do a parenthesis and study some intonation, okay? Then we're gonna practice with going to. Do you have any questions about the practice? What I heard, everything was okay. I didn't hear any mistake. But I don't know if you have questions about what you just practiced. No? I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what does it mean and what will the meeting be like? Ah, okay. This is a meeting, for example. So if aliens ever meet humans, what do you think the meeting will be like? Will it be like catastrophic? Do you think it will be friendly? It's like describe that moment when aliens and humans meet that meeting. Okay. 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 Thank you. Very good. Okay. Read the objective, please, Fernando. In this class, you will not notice. Notice? No, notice and practice intonation in the statements beginning with a time cross. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize phrases using different senses. And personalize. Personalize. The first tense, okay. I'm gonna mute you guys because I heard something, I don't know what that was. So let's listen to intonation, all right? Pay close attention because we're gonna practice using this. Here we go. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to nation in these statements begin. Guys, listen and repeat, okay? Beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. In the past, very few people used computers. Okay, one more time. In the past, in the past, the past very few people, few people used, used computers. computers. Today, people use computers all the time. Today, people, Today, use, people computers use computers all the, computers all the time. All the time. All the time. Very good, that sounds well. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In the future, in the future there, will there will be a computer, a computer in every, in every home. home. Every teacher. As a child, as a child, uh, there is a comma here. It's not here. So as a child, I used to, okay, complete the sentence. Let me see. Carla, Molina. As a child, I used to uh, um, game a lot. Play a lot. Play, play. Yeah, like, all right, Fernando, next one. Two years ago, I. Two years ago. Two years ago, I still 
in the university. I was still in the university. I, sorry? <laughs> I was still in the university. I was still in the university. Uh, or in university because we're not talking about the place, but in university. Okay, but do the intonation because that's what we're practicing, right? So two years ago, I was still in university like that. Okay, next, Jacqueline. In five years, I in five years. In five years, I will have another work. I use another job. Again, in five years, I will have another job. In five years, I will have another job. Yes, everybody follow that pattern, right? Like, uh, na na na, na 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 na. Okay, follow that, like that music and the language. All right, Roberto, first one. Okay, Carla. As a chat. Go ahead, Roberto, sorry. <laughs> as, as a child, I used to... As a child, I used to... Okay, think about it. So, Carla Chang, this one. Number one or number two? One. One. As a child, I used to play with my Barbie. Yeah, I remember. That's why you look young, I know. So, yes. <laughs> I used to play with my... I used to play. Okay, Noe, this one. And then fall, all right? So, think about it, guys. Second one, Noe. Okay, two years ago. Two years ago. Uh, I start to learn <laughs> French. Two years ago, I started to learn French. Use that, yes. we're practicing that rhythm, so try it again. Two years ago, I started to learn French. I started to learn, okay, Paul? In five years, I will work in another job. In another place, in another company, or I will have another job. Yes, another job. Okay, very good. So is this, in, in general, guys, when you have coma, you have to go up, and when you have periods, you have to go down. So that's like a general thing. Try to use that intonation every time you read so that it sounds more natural and it's not confusing. I think that we follow the same pattern in Spanish, right? You kind of go up, 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 no? Mm -hmm. Maybe, but yeah, that's- I, I never noticed. You never noticed? Yeah, probably. We're more flat when we speak, but yeah, try to follow that intonation, all right. Anyway, we're gonna go back to practicing. So um, uh, these are the questions, let me see. These are the ones. I would like you to practice. We're gonna go from the bottom and up, all right? Let me see. Where's the this is the one. So we're gonna go from the bottom and up. That means you're gonna start discussing this question here at the bottom. We have already practiced past, present, future. You notice that you were making some mistakes in the past because you were using didn't went, for example, instead of didn't go or not went, I don't know, but <laughs> you were making mistakes, it's okay, but didn't, and the verb in the base form, right? Now, we're going to use going to for defined plans. With will, we were making predictions, right? Now we're gonna make plans. And this will be the first question. I would like three volunteers to answer this question before we practice in small groups. So what are you going to do on your next long holiday? Anybody? I'm going to travel. <laughs> uh huh. Give details. I'm going to travel. I'm going to go to Miami, for example, and visit my parents. So try to get details, all right? Who else? What are you going to do on your next holiday? Jacqueline Torres? I think I'm going to rest all day, my guess. 
you know what that is different because if you say i think you're not sure so if you hesitate if you say like i think i guess then you have to use will so i think i will rest going to you're gonna use it for something you are sure of and it's a plan okay okay or i think if i will or i am going to press this is like your plan and it's definite okay so um yep from the bottom i said right and up guys take a screenshot of this please i'm also going to send it to a group but please take it right now because these are the questions we're discussing so in case it takes long to get there because it's raining really hard right now you have the questions and you can start discussing okay if you have the ability to share your screen from the computer do so so that you can have visuals and when I, whenever I'm in your group, you can ask me any questions if you have doubts, okay? Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay, this time I think, let me see, I will make bigger groups. Groups of three, let me see, three, three. No, just two groups. So I can move with you longer. Hold on. Four. Yeah, groups of four, because the answers are short. So right here, active invitation, please. And everybody, let's get speaking. Let's practice. B 6 a.m. I have to go to, to work. Next. Now I can, I can. What are you going to do tomorrow morning, Roberto? I'm going to work tomorrow morning. Now you can ask Noe. Okay, what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon, Noe? I will have a class, English class. Okay. English class, maybe tomorrow night. Yes. And tomorrow afternoon? Um, afternoon, I will work. Okay, now you can ask Jacqueline. Okay. I'm going to do some housework. I am going to check my email. You, Carla. Hello. Carla. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking with a mute. <laughs> okay, I am going to um tomorrow. I go at morning. I'm going to work at home, like another day. <laughs> okay, next one. What are you going to do tomorrow? Sorry, after in the now? morning, not at the morning. In the morning. Huh? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Hi. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to 
to um, continue my home office. Okay. Um. What? When are when are you going to get your next hair haircut? Who are you asking to? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, when are you going to get your next haircut? No, eh? Uh, I don't know because it's not a good idea to go out and, and cut the hair for a person who do, you don't know. Probably my mother cut my hair. Why? Because you can get infected? Because the, the quarantine. Is... Uh, yes. I don't understand. What's going on in Salvador then? Um, you cannot go out or you can? It, it's a, it, it, we, we can go out if, uh, because the work of... Uh, we can't go to haircut if you don't have a, a, a date, a program, ah, an appointment. We have uh, five phases or phases. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, phases or stages. Uh, oh. Stages. And the, the stage one, just uh, some people can go out. Mm, okay. it, dep it depends on what you work. Uh, to get a haircut, I just with a date, you can go to groceries, just the supermarket, I think, any day you want, but it's supposed we, we don't have to go out yet. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. That, that, that will be 21 days that way. Until August, I think we can go out just like to walk, to run, to... August. I don't know if we can go to the beach on August. <laughs> All right. I need to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. I miss that too. Hold on, it's kind of noisy, Carla. Sorry. Mm, I'll be back. Let me check on the other group. Give me one second. I... I, I am going to eat pizza. I, I'm not. I'm not going to eat anything <laughs> for the diet. <laughs> I, I'm still. I I still uh, eat too much at the din at the lunch. <laughs> okay. With the celebration at the Father's Day. So. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. What question are you discussing, guys? Uh, what are you going to eat for dinner tonight? What are you going to eat for dinner? Okay, sorry, hold on. Let me see. So we're going to go back for a little bit. Wait. Okay. All right. Um, so, with the same question, did you finish the questions? No, right? No. 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 Okay. I haven't noticed anybody making mistakes, so I think that that is a topic that you have already studied. What happened is that I started getting new students, so the groups became huge, like five or six people in one group. So I'm going to break it into three groups of three people each, all right? Let's finish the questions. The thing is, we basically already finished, okay? Um, tomorrow and next week, we will do section five and the midterm, the final exam, and that's it. So uh, we have to take this opportunity to practice as much as we can. And 
reinforce those topics, okay? So I'm gonna send you a new invitation right now. Finish the questions and that's it, okay? Because the group is ready to fail. So accept it. Here it goes. Let's see. Three, three, three. Well, we're going to to continue. <laughs> I think yeah, we are the only. Are you going to do homework tonight? Tonight? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, the, the very it's first done. one. So this oh, time, let's do something. Let's do something. Start discussing the first one. And then that okay. one, we get an alternative. Okay. Um, what time are you going to get up to? Oh, the class. We're practicing. <laughs> We're practicing going to plans with going to, but like plans you're sure of. That's it. So simply answer the questions. Um, Carla, Jacqueline, and Eduardo, start from the first one. First one and down. Okay. Okay, Carla okay. is not anymore Carla, it's Monica. Okay. Eduardo, call me Monica. Why? Is, is her nickname Carla Molina alias Monica? Why? <laughs> uh, we don't know. <laughs> Only Eduardo knows. <laughs> All right. Well, let's practice. Do tomorrow morning. Do. I'm going to um, breakfast. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Okay, and you, Carlos, Roberto, perdón. Sorry. I'm going to work tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't hear you. Oh, I going I going to work tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Um, and me, I am going to um, eat my breakfast. No, eat. Uh, no, drink a coffee and go to the home office. Next, what are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm already married. Okay. <laughs> I have been married for almost six years. Oh, that's good. Very well. Okay. And you, Paul? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Nothing in the class. Uh, I think you're your in oh. interest, guys. Yes, uh, that get the Maria. No. Okay. Nobody. Okay. Nobody. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, are you going to see a movie next week? If yes, what a movie? What movie? Uh, in the night. Uh, TV. Okay. I going to watch TV um, tomorrow night. Okay. And me, I'm going. All right. I think you finished all the questions, right? This time you did. Yep. 
All right, now oh, we're yes. going to do a listening exercise. Let me see. I'm going to read it. Eduardo, read the objective, please. We don't hear you. And now? Now we do. In this class, you will listen. Okay. In this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercise. As you listen, you will develop skills and listen for main ideas. And do the exercise, as you should say here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, for better or for worse. First, you know, the first thing we have to do is read the. Um, the options okay so we're talking about the first woman men and then the woman again let's read the options let me see no mm -mm. go ahead woman. number one woman mm -hmm. population Transportation, go ahead, man. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. Shopping. Yes. Families, environment, and cities. Okay, those are the options. Mm -hmm. I will play the audio and choose the correct answer, okay? Who has completed this part? John. I haven't. Say I haven't. I haven't. You haven't either? I haven't. Right, let's do it together. So this is, guys, this is section. So why are you saying shopping then? <laughs> you are saying <laughs> the woman. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so section 4.8. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Let's listen to the audio, please. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three, I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. 
why is that? Oh, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. I guess having watched it twice, I mean, having listened to it twice, you have the answers. So number one. Yes. Um, what I should talk about? Environment. 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 What else? Only environment? Yes. Yes. Okay. Man, the man. Transportation. 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 And three. Families. Families. All right. Let me see. And yes, everything is right. So you completed this part, everyone. Yes. 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 Great. Now let's go to section 4.9. Okay. And we're going to begin seeing how this works and practice it tomorrow. Okay. Read the objective, please. Okay. By the end of the class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with its clauses. Great. So, I would recommend you get your notebooks and take notes about the structure, okay? Because it's the only time you will see this. After the video, if you have questions, I will explain, all right? Let's watch. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present, main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children. No, this part we're going to practice later, but um, just to make sure, what is, when are we going to use, this is actually called first conditional, okay? So when are we going to use it? Any idea? When we talk about 
possibilities. Possibilities. In the present or the future. Okay, so you know this law, right? Of action and no, of cause and effect. You know that law, right? Of cause and effect. Okay, we're talking about cause and effect, but in this case, we're talking about something you do in the present that is going to change the future. Change the future or have an impact. Present has an impact in the future. Okay, or might have an impact. Okay. So this is when you're going to use it. For instance, we can say if we continue, because you guys are studying right now, right? So if you continue studying, what will happen? What is going to be the effect in the future? We will speak, we'll speak better. We continue studying, comma. We will speak better. Okay, that is something. But there are other effects. What are other effects? If you continue study, and okay, if we speak better. No, I don't want to do it like I that. I will get another job. Uh -huh. So if we continue studying, we, we will graduate. Uh huh. Those are some consequences, right? We will graduate virtually. <laughs> Like everyone, <laughs> I don't know. Nobody has graduated yet, so I don't know. Uh, if we continue studying, we might because, guys, is it a guarantee that if you continue studying, you will get another job, a better job? It's not a guarantee, right? No. 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 <laughs> we, we will say we might get a better job depending on how long you study, how hard and how well you speak in the end, all right? So you see, we have this action that has consequences in the future, okay? And what is the structure? We have if plus subject. subject. No, I would say if plus future with will, all right? And then, no, 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 no. If and present if plus subject mm -hmm. no, present. present and then future okay this is the structure mm -hmm. okay but what i want to tell you is these two are always together you cannot separate them okay if present and future you can change the order here this by the way has a comma if you change the order no comma all right future plus uh, if plus present. We can change the order, all right, without a comma in this case. So I can say, for example, we will speak better if we continue studying. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, without the comma. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay. But these two you cannot change, all right? So, um, Pay attention to that structure. We're going to practice that tomorrow, okay? Questions? No. Nope. So far, so good? Good. Yes. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me, guys, as always. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I wish you a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Bye. Beautiful night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Good night.